that it's just a rundown old building but when you're in it the space transforms itself somehow mysteriously they both have an air of belonging elsewhere you know, this building and the music so I, I think that's why they fit so beautifully because they're of a of a like spirit, if you like. I think there's an element that maybe you can be someone else, you can pretend you're from another time, another place. When you walk in, when you first walk in, you open the doors and you walk in, it just feels like a deserted, strange place, you know, that has its own sort of um, atmosphere. And to actually go in and, and set the music up, and as soon as the music comes on, then it's fine. But without the music, there is something about the place itself that, you know, it's, it's a powerful thing walking into a chapel. I think the formality of the place and the fact that this was once a place of worship and so that lends it a degree of austerity and of course the decay I think it's not lost on me that we're dancing to music that was recorded maybe 80 years ago and so it just yeah, seems, to, seems to fit in quite well there. It's not really just a derelict old chapel, it's a wonderfully atmospheric room where the walls are crumbling with history, different layers peeling off, telling a story from different eras, even the antiquated lights around the side, although they're more modern, tell another story. And it just seems to fit quintessentially with what tango is all about. It's a slightly eccentric dance from a particular time, which we still dance to this day, and it feels like we're just acting another layer of history, putting another, adding another layer of history into that. The first time that we came here, it was a beautiful sunny day and it was windy and we had the doors open and the sun was flooding through the windows and the wind was whipping our skirts around and it was just beautiful because we're outside despite being inside. Because it feels untouched, it feels like it went through a period which it did actually during the World War II where it was completely sealed up. And, um, and they've only just opened it up a year or two ago. So I think there's something about the fact it's not been done up, it's not been used, it is what it is. It was a chapel, and it was a chapel for um, retired pub landlords, basically. And they sang here, they had a choir here, they lived here. It has a community 
spirit and a feel to it. And I think that's essentially what Tango South London and what Tango can give to people, a sense of community. You know, it's not a religion, Tango, but there is something about being together in a place that lifts your spirits. slightly echoey in here. It's almost like you're listening down a, a, a 1920 gramophone with the, the funnel effect that that has. But actually the acoustics of the space are beautiful so you don't need a really incredible sound system. It always sounds fab. I mean I don't think we've been here where the music doesn't sound lovely right. and it carries beautifully. I mean, I think the light's the really important thing yeah. because today's like a really grey day and yet the quality of light in here is really sort of special. And we've been here sort of <laughs> summertime and winter and it always has a beautiful sort of magical light. It's different every time. So in the summer it's a very, it softens a very strong light. Um, and during the winter you get the sort of watery feel, which is lovely. I know that everybody has their own sort of ar thing architecturally that they're drawn to, but for me it's always the windows, because windows let in light, but these windows have, because they're stained glass, especially in the summer you get these wonderful patterns on the floor, and you just do feel like you're transported to a magical place. day-to-day -day, um, job that I've got which is managing a lot of people with all the um, problems that people have everyday problems at work and this provides an escapism and um, you can drift off to another place another time and um, it recharges your batteries really. But I just do look at how people are just really getting into it and enjoying themselves and sometimes you look at one couple and it's like they're just in a little world all by themselves you know and especially if they hit a sunspot or something and they're dancing in that sunspot you get these little flecks of dust floating around them that's incredibly beautiful about the most beautiful place on earth that you can dance. I think it's absolutely glorious, absolutely wonderful. And um, I can't think of a better place to dance, despite the floor, which can be a bit interesting. It's so much more than the sum of its parts. That's what creating something like this is. That, you know, you, you've got the music, you've got the DJ, you've got the food. 
take off the chairs and you do all of this and then people come and it, you know, there's, there's something that happens, the spirit of the place comes alive and it is always more.